Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about the Power Query error called the data source error. So that's a step level error. For example, I shared my Power BI file with you and I've got an Excel sheet on my machine. And you might have that Excel sheet on a separate uh, drive. So when you uh, try to refresh that Power BI file, it'll give you a data source error. And we'll look at that and learn how to sort that out. So let's start. I've got this Power BI file here and I've opened the Power Query editor. And here you can see that I've got this data source error which says could not find a path to this file. Essentially, I got this file from someone and they had it on a different path. So now I can go and, so how to resolve this as well. So you go and click on go to error and it shows you that it cannot find this path. And I don't have a BI one. So what I need to do is, so it could be you just pointed to whatever location you have saved the file on your machine. In my case, I don't have uh, a power bi one i just have power bi and then if i go to the next level now i can see the data so essentially we've uh, been able to resolve the data uh, source dot error by pointing the file to the right location so it could happen for another data source as well maybe there's a change of password or maybe maybe there's something else that it's not able to connect to the data source for some reason and that will give you a step level error so in this video we learned how to resolve a step level error in Power Query, should we get one? And you will need to do some form of uh, debugging or uh, figuring out why something's not working if it's a data source, which is different from a file uh, folder. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.